goes out <laughs> one early morning. <laughs> he was troubling one man, and that man was so angry. I said, wow. So I've asked him that if we are talking about harvest, you know, uh, it's not just to talk about it. It's to, to do it, you know. So that's why I've asked uh, Brother Blaise to come and minister for 10 minutes this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. First of all, I'd like to greet everybody in the name of the Lord. Bless everybody that showed up today. I want to appreciate the leadership of Winning Faith. I love you all, and I appreciate all the good work that you're doing in the ministry. You're inspiring young people like us that are coming up in ministry, and may the Lord continue to bless you all and give you a long life. Let us pray quickly. Heavenly Father, as I stand before your people, empty-handed, I ask you, Lord of oh God, to use this 10 minutes, O oh Lord, to speak to your people and impart in them, Lord of oh God. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the, oh, let the ancient words be true. ancient words. Ancient world, ever true, ever true, ever true, changing, changing me and changing you. But we have come, Lord, with open, open, let the ancient. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, sharing God's word is a, it's a huge responsibility. I do not take it for granted to stand here and share the word. Because the Bible says in the book of James that those that preached God's word will be judged really harshly. So every time we have an opportunity to preach God's word, we've got to understand there's, there's a huge responsibility that we carry. That every single word that we speak upon this pulpit, God will use it against us where we stand before him. So... We are talking about the harvest. It is the harvest season. I believe during this time of the pandemic 2020 and everything that happened globally, a lot of things happened where countries were locked down, companies were shut, lives were taken. So many things happened. And I believe in that season, God was stirring up a lot of things to bring forth a change. Because if you observe 2020, a lot of idols were crushed. Sports, yes. entertainment. The things that we love so much, God took it away, shut down. And I believe that was a, a sign for the whole world to realize, hey, we got to connect ourselves to our creator. So I believe we are in the period of harvest where God is working and God want to work in the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, John chapter 4, please. Uh, John chapter 4. John chapter 4, verse 34. And Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of, who, of he who sent me. Those are the words of Jesus. That it is my will to do the food that the, that, the, that the God has sent me to do. Verse 34. Jesus said to me, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. You know, one of the attacks that we face by the enemy is to discourage us and to blind us from God's will. And one of the most important will of God is the harvest. And what is the harvest? The harvest, the most important harvest is seeing people come into the eternal kingdom of God. And that's one of the areas that Satan fights people. Satan doesn't want people to come into the understanding that Christ is the only way, the only solution. So what he do? He blinds us. But Jesus is saying that my will... My desire is that I do God's will. It is so important that we understand that the will of God must prevail upon our lives. Amen. 
So the, the harvest is something spiritual. And I believe the harvest is something that has been there for ages. And the Bible speaks about harvest in different ways. And one of the examples I would use as harvest is uh, when you look in the book of uh, Genesis when God was creating uh, creation. He created everything. He created the birds in the sky. He created the sea day and night. And after that you saw that after he created all the fruits and the seed, he then created men, which is Adam, in his image. And that was a harvest. And how was that a harvest? I'll tell you why it's a harvest. Because a harvest, the meaning of a harvest is when you plant a seed, you see the manifestation of the seed. Yeah. So after God created everything, he wanted to see the manifestation of what he created. And that's why he said to, 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 to the Holy Spirit that let us create man in our image. Hallelujah. Amen. So God created man in his image. But when you read in the book of Genesis, you see the fall of man caused a separation between man and God. So God had to find a solution. What was the solution? The solution was Jesus Christ. He came back to return that harvest. He wanted to restore that relationship that was destroyed in the Garden of Eden. Why? Because God loved us and God wanted to bring back that fellowship, that union that we had with the Creator in the Garden of Eden. So glory be to be God. The harvest is so important, my people. I believe this is a season where we got to get right with God. We got to get right with God in our relationship, in our homes with our children. We need to reflect Christ. When our children look at our lives, they must see Jesus in us. When our wives look at our lives, they must see Jesus in us. They must not see our flesh and our desire. It should be our main priority to be more like Christ. This is the season where the harvest is plenty. But the problem is people are not willing to put the work. We know what to do, but we're not putting the work in. But I want to tell you, the harvest is ready. Why is the harvest ready? Because Jesus paid the price on Calvary. Jesus. See, everything has been placed. Everything is ready for us. We just need to tap into it. That's why Jesus said that the harvest is plenty, but the work is a few. Not a lot of people are willing to put the work. Work is required, and work is sometimes not easy. It is challenging. As the word of God says we should not be what hearers of yes, God's word. Yes. But we should be doers of God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we hear God's word, we got to take God's word, practice God's word. Then we will see changes in our lives. Amen. A harvest without no action is pointless. Amen. When a harvest comes, it comes to bring awareness. A harvest is not just for only a harvest come for you to be aware of what's happening around you. And after you are aware of what's happening around you, you need to take action.